All right, guys, welcome back. Let's take a look at a couple of notes I've done with this pre-release official upgrade for Ubuntu uh, Plucky Puffin, I believe it's called. I do not recommend pre-official release upgrades. I do not recommend Ubuntu for beginners. Too many tweaks and terminal commands needed after install, including this one. If you choose to upgrade, back up on two external drives. I test on a spare outdated PC that is not my main PC. If you like to test and compare, buy a refurbished ThinkPad to install. I've said this many times before. All right. Uh, two of the most important features, in my opinion. Number one, atomic updates. Yeah, and rollbacks. Ubuntu now supports safer updates and rollbacks reduces instability. I believe what this means, if, if it tries to install something and it doesn't work, it rolls back to the original pre-installation to keep the system stable. I believe that's what atomic updates mean. So when you do an update, either everything works or it rolls back if something doesn't work. Okay, those of you who are more familiar with atomic updates, please let me know. And last but not least, Snaps and Flatpak supports by default. The GNOME Software Center now includes Flatpak updates by default. You don't have to use the dreaded terminal to enable Flatpak support. Great for Windows users. So this eliminates one use of the terminal in Ubuntu. And Ubuntu, thank you for that. You're making this a little bit easier. All right, so I lost my app menu drop down here that was at the top left. If we go to the uh, GNOME Extensions website, and you wouldn't think it would be this difficult. Uh, for uh, an app menu installation. To be fair, this is not officially released yet, this new Ubuntu, so I kind of understand. Uh, installed in extensions, I'll show you this real quick. Um, there is something called app menu is back. Awesome, let's turn it on. And uh, I, I, this is not an app menu, this is just a current window open which is already over here. So why would I want this twice? I don't understand this, but this is why I can understand why some Windows users would say this is ridiculous. But to be fair, again, this is not officially released yet for the latest Ubuntu. All right, let's get out of that. Um, other than that, from what I've seen, I, it, it, nothing much has really changed cosmetically. Um, I had to reinstall Google Chrome. I'm going to have to tweak this uh, sidebar again panel uh, to the way that I wanted it. Uh, the in-place upgrade process, I used a terminal commands, and uh, it went uh, fairly well. Let's see here. Uh, yes, this is a terminal command, sudo do release upgrade dash D. It comes up with a bunch of prompts. Uh, do you want to continue? In my case, I did because this is my test machine. This is not my main machine. Keep that in mind. It actually took about 30 minutes. Not bad for a 12-year-old computer. So, Ubuntu, you did good on that. Uh, nothing um, crashed. Uh, well, one thing crashed. I tried to install something called the... Uh, I think it's called the Arc menu. Let's go back here. Go to uh, GNOME Shell Extensions. Yeah, I, I don't see any point in trying this now. Uh, I prefer the previous menu. Maybe that'll be updated with the official release of Ubuntu uh, 25.04 Plucky Puffin. So that's probably one of the main problems with the, with Ubuntu. Like you never know when extensions are going to work. And you, you kind of need at least the app menu, in my opinion, to make it easier uh, for beginners. And... Another thing, as I mentioned before, is you shouldn't have to use terminal commands to enable extensions from the GNOME extensions website. But again, I'm, I'm trying to do these videos through the eyes of a Windows user, all one billion of those. So that's why my channel is somewhat unique because I still use Windows to, to tell myself there are still many uh, Windows users out there who would like to try Linux or maybe try Linux before and Linux sucks, and of course, that's not a fair statement, so I try to simplify things. Check it out if you have a spare machine, and uh, I didn't notice any 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 really speed improvements in this, at least not yet, 
but um, hey, for a 12-year-old machine, I cannot complain. That's it, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.